shockwaves are going through the Native American community. And that's after a federal judge calls landmark legislation involving Native American adoption illegal. Colton Schoen tells you how New Mexico tribes are responding. In this October 2018 ruling, a Texas federal judge said the Indian Child Welfare Act, otherwise known as ICWA, was unconstitutional. The 1978 federal law requires priority placement for Indian children put up for adoption to stay with Native families, preferably the same tribe. And it was really designed to protect our Native children. At the center of this ICWA challenge, a white couple wanting to adopt a half Navajo, half Cherokee baby. That family won their case even as tribal courts stepped in. Indian law attorney Cheryl Fairbanks says this ruling could have disastrous effects for Native people. The data and research really reflects that, that those kids, those children, now often adults, don't belong in the non-Indian world or the Indian world. And they're in that gray area where they've lost their self-identity. And that puts them at high risk. Here in New Mexico, there are currently 285 Native children in state custody. For state fiscal year 2018, 41 Native children were adopted. Currently, there are 153 foster families that identify as having Native heritage. But many tribal governments have their own social services departments with missions that align with their culture. According to tribal officials, because of ICWA, 23 kids across the states and across the country were brought back here to the Acoma Pueblo to be placed with family members. And that's just since 2015. Acoma Pueblo Social Services Director Donalyn Saracino says Native families have higher rates of children removed from the homes, so tribes rely on ICWA, especially smaller ones, to stay alive. If we don't have our children, at some point we will cease to exist, and I think that's a very real threat to Native communities. Indian leaders say if the ruling is upheld in a higher court, it could mean other federal Indian policies could be struck down. ICWA is not... Um, a race-based law. It's based on our unique um, political status with the United States government. Fairbanks says tribes are willing to put up a fight. An appeal um, so is in the we, works. We've um, been subjected to failed federal policies, failed state policies. Now we're at that table where we can make a difference and we can demonstrate and exercise our sovereignty. Colton Schoen, KOB Eyewitness News 4.